Hi, welcome to my presentation for the project Analysis and Comparison of Corner Detection Algorithms. I'm Karth Tukradi uh, from the ECVT Pioneer University of Florida and this has been undertaken as a course project for EEL6825 Pattern Recognition and the Dr. Depangu. Uh, before I start, I would like to thank Mr. Depangu for all the hard work he has done throughout the semester and all the knowledge he has imparted. Thank you, sir. So let's begin. So today we'll be performing the analysis for Harris corner detection, Keating corner detection, and then we'll compare them to the performance of the modified Fisher detections. So that's it. So interaction, uh, images have many important feature points and the corners are one of them. Many computer vision problems like scene analysis, image registration, image matching, etc. employ the detection of corners. In order to yield good satisfactory results, we will need the corner detector to be able to detect all of the right corners without issuing any false results and also have the capability to locate these positions precisely. The detector should be efficient for applications involving real-time data and be robust to noise. The corner, which can be defined as the intersection of two edges, is the two dominant and different edge directions and local neighbors of the point. And in Interesting point, an interest point is a point in an image which has a well-defined position and be and can be robustly detected. This means that an interest point can be a corner, but it can also be, for example, an isolated point of local intensity, maximum or minimum. Line and link are a point on a curve where the curvature is locally minimum. Grady and Smith had proposed a system corner detection, which processes the points of the images successively and this point is referred to as the nucleus. The corner point is determined and evaluated depending on the value of the pixel in the vicinity of the nucleus. A circular mask was made use of which is sent at the nucleus. The pixels with almost the same brightness as the nucleus are grouped together and the resulting area formed by this is termed as beta, which stands for mini value segment as similar to nucleus. Here we can see an example of how a pixel is divided. The representation of the figure are shown above. The Yusan area will reach a maximum in the event that the nucleus lies in the region that is flat on the image surface. We will see that it falls to half the maximum value when the nucleus lies on its face edge and it falls more when the nucleus is a corner. So the position of the image corners will be represented by the local minima of the Yusan map. This is the main property due in the determination of the presence of the corners. So we can see A, B and C. This is where the nucleus is within Yusan, this is where it is an edge point, this is where it is a corner point. Yusan detector, let's learn more about that. So within the image, the circular mask will be moved through all the points in the selected image and the intensity of pixels is compared with the intensity of the nucleus and it can be shown by this equation. Where IR0 denotes the intensity of the nucleus, uh, yeah, the, at the nucleus IR denotes the intensity at any other point of the map. T is the grayscale difference threshold and TRR is the output of this. The comparison is performed upon every pixel in the map and the running total of the output TRR not T is the same. And N is compared to G, which is the geometric threshold. And the feature response is derived using this. This uh, in whole is a fundamental formulation of the Susan principle, that is the smaller USAN area smaller the USAN area, the larger will the corner response be. Different features like junction, corner and edge detection can be served using geometric threshold. Well, there are certain s advantages to using the SUSAN detector, being the main advantage being the presence of strong noise detection ability because of the fact that it does not use intensity gradient and image derivatives. The effect of integrating individual values in the calculation of area in the method coupled with the nonlinear response greatly diminishes the effect of the noise. Let's move to the next detector, that is the Harris detector. Uh, the Harris detector is a classic method for corner extraction which has been made use of in many fields. The detector is of the form R equal to del M minus K plus KR, KR M square, where K denotes a parameter which is preset and M is the second moment moment matrix given as this, where this is the convolution operator. W represents the Gaussian wave filter, I represents the function of image intensity, and this convolution operation is performed to obtain it. 
configuration of the operator is done from the average gray chain to small rectangular window traversing along two perpendicular directions. It can eliminate edge like points and flip corners simultaneously. Uh, let's take a look at the modified system detection. Yeah, so here we have the threshold fee, which determines the minimum contrast value of the feature, which can be detected, and also the maximum level of noise, which can be implemented. Accordingly, it can be seriously affected by the choice of feature. When, when a small value of key is chosen, it will be capable of picking up more small and subtle variations in the given image and also detect a far greater number of candidate corners, while a bigger value for T may neglect some corners. So an intermediate value for T is required to achieve a trade-off between corner detection and noise detection. An iterative process is adopted by the algorithm in order to calculate the value for the threshold based upon the local contrast of the area of noise. Optimal thresholding method is used to classify the pixels as background and foreground with respect to the clearable intensity. An initial selection of the threshold is done to begin the algorithm. So initial threshold is uh, given by the equation I max is equal to where I max and I min represent the max and min values of gray level intensity in the pixel of the mask respectively. The new value for the threshold is updated iteratively by the equation which is given by this, where L represents the number of gray, le gray levels and M represents the pixels at those value of intensity is M and GI represents the value of the threshold at the edge of the region. This procedure is carried on until the optimal threshold is reached when Ti plus 1 is equal to Ti. The Susan method also div only divides the mask in two parts, and sometimes this may not be adequate. So, in this method, we will divide the mask in two or more parts. Based upon the threshold obtained from the earlier calculations, the pixels are labeled as A1 and A2 respectively. Like, it was divided into A1 and A2 earlier, but here we have two regions and one of them can be comprising of two more regions and they're labeled as A1 and A2. And now they check to see if they follow this particular criterion that the minimum of N1 and N2 is greater than three because three pixels do not form an area. So they at least have to be three. And area one has to be four connected. By four connected, we mean that uh, all the pixels are separated from each other by a distance of one move. So if you move, say, up or left or down or right from a pixel, we should be able to move to the other pixel just in the, in the course of one move. So after the division of the circular mask into areas A1 and A2, we then have to see if the region A2 can be segmented further. The new threshold is calculated among the pixels of region A2 by the method which has been described above. Let's assume that the new area obtained by the segmentation process be A3 and A4, and N3 and N4 be the respective number of pixels. The nucleus is situated in A4. We check to see if we satisfy the following criteria. Now we have to check to see if the number of pixels and the minimum is greater than 3 because it is the same criterion as the one we have seen before. Both the areas in A3 and A4 have to be connected, four connected. This was not the criterion earlier. Earlier we only had the requirement for one of the areas to be four connected. The centers of gravity and of A3 and A4 have to be situated in their respective regions. And these conditions is met if the area is termed as proper and not improper. Let's take a look at some of the experimental results required. Let's run the code first. So I'll be running the Arit algorithm first. And we see that we obtain uh, a corner detection image of a comp corner detection of a complicated synthetic image. And this can be run again. Press Susan. And it can't bring the list into it. Yeah, uh, we are running this again for Susan. That gives us the edge corner detection we have been hoping for. So let's summarize the results. So when the, this experiment, um, the MATLAB code had been run and the data had been collected. This was run for three different images, uh, three images 
okay uh, one separate image three times uh, separately for each particular detector this being for the Harris this for Susan and this is for the modified Susan so we can see for the simple image the total number of detection and F1 for each detector has been mentioned in the statement there has been fairly a uh, less number of corners missed we can see that Harris has missed zero Susan has missed two and in three Susan has missed one in false detection uh, three for Harris eight for Susan and zero for Susan. This was for a simple image. Let's see what happens when we do this for a complicated synthetic image. This is an example of an image of a synthetic image which I've seen earlier today when I ran the code. And this is the table which it represents between the missed corners and the false detection. Here we can see that it has slightly gone down. Harris has come to one with false detection is 25. Susan has missed one corner with three false detections. And improved Susan has missed none. No corners have been missed, no false detection has been reported. So as a result, we have to conclude that an efficient corner detection algorithm has been presented in the system with modified Susan algorithm. This modified technique has the ability to automatically detect features in various contrast images with the use of self-adjust multiple cells. The computer is relatively dependent upon the difference of cell local patterns. The comparison experiment has been shown that the new method has exhibited better performance over Susan and Harris detection can perform corner detection and produce the localized corners position much more efficiently than the other technique. It can be concluded that this algorithm is very much suitable for detection of the corners and it has various applications in 3D reconstruction, image matching, etc.